What are they, Crowbar? A series of small buildings leading up to the main one. And what are we to do? Step on them until we are high enough to enter. science history yet? If you keep distracting me, I'll never change the course of mankind. Well, maybe we can do that without atmospherium. Who can that be? Someone who's an interrupter. This appears to be an entrance of some sort. Then why isn't it opening, my love? Oh, I'm scared. This is insane. This makes no sense, I tell you. Why is this happening? Why is this calm. happening? Calm, calm, Lettuce. There must be some explanation. There has to be. Well, what, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why doesn't this entrance open? They'll know. They'll know everything now. Oh. What can we do? What can we do to make this entrance open? away and I knew it. Can we help you? You would help us? I don't understand. Oh, you must be the tailors. Of course, darling, these are the people that rented us the cabin. They oh. said they might stop up. Of course. How are you? I'm Dr. Paul Armstrong. This is my wife, Betty. Uh, we didn't catch your first names. Our first names? are the names that were given us first, obviously. Well, what should we call you? Oh, our Earth names. I am, um, uh, Tergasso, and this is... I am Bamon. Huh. Tergasso, Bamon, won't you come in? Yes, we have been desiring that. Finally, we go in. Won't you make yourselves comfortable? I'm not sure. How would one go about finding that out? Uh, uh, please, please, be seated. Fold yourself in the middle. Um, can we get you anything? A drink, perhaps? Yes, liquid, please. A man who gets right to the point. I like that. How about four scotch and sodas? <clears throat> Hmm. My, that's a, a, a lovely dress, Tergasso. Yes. Yes, I too thought this. I... I almost felt it somehow. That is what I told Crowbar. Who's Crowbar? Is he the designer? Yes. Yes. Crowbar is the designer. Well, you're going to have to tell me where their store is. My wife does not like to talk about a store. We are just like you, really. I assure you. Yes. I also appreciate your soft cloth funnel, Betty. Four drinks coming up. Here's to one heck of a beautiful cabin. <laughs> 
Tergasso certainly was thirsty. Who? So, ba ba Bamman, what do you do? Do? I can do anything. I have no restrictions. That's the spirit. I'm the same way with science. I like my dress so very much. That's what I can do. Um, this uh, drink is very refreshing. Thank you, Paul and Betty. Oh, not at all. <laughs> I have an overwhelming desire to participate in the purchasing of many cloth funnels, some I can't even spare the expense for. Is that so very wrong? Oh, shopping! Yes, uh, no, no, not at all. Shopping isn't wrong at all, especially for a woman. Sometimes I wish it were, right, Bamman? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know about that, Paul. Shopping can be loads of fun, with a little restraint, of course. Gee, thanks, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there is much humor in what you say. <laughs> Well, in Paul's line of work, he can use a good laugh once in a while. It can be so deadly boring sometimes. Even I admit that. Ah, well, as long as everything is perfectly normal. I certainly am a normal Earth woman. Isn't that right, my little space comet? <laughs> wooba wooba woo! Wooba wooba! Stop that, my love. My wife sometimes forgets. She is not a space alien.